Zoro. Hmm. The object upon your waist. Is that not our Sheikah slate? Maybe we'll give him a Sean Connery voice. Hmm. Now that I've gotten a good look at you. No, that doesn't fit. We need a different voice for him. Now that I've gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. <laughs> you are the Helion Champion Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. Huh? The he oh, sit on. I forgot his voice. The Helion Champion. You can't mean that Link. That champion. So that's where I heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence. We should cross paths. <laughs> I cannot believe it. The Helion champion Link has appeared before us. We now have met new. Oh, wow. wow. We have met numerous times. I'll have you know. Oh, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I have heard a terrible rumor that you have fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. I lost my memory. Come again. You say you have lost your memory. But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Bifa, yes? You do, do you not? Bifa who? I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close that you do not remember her. Young girl, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Misa's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. And that is not his voice, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought you a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Link. <laughs> my name is highlighted? Link. I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Mm. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varutar. I shall do with the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Mm. Will you lend us your strength? King Dorfan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a helion for help, why the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to her king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. Hold on, this is going on forever. We've got some chat going on here. Looking at photos from a fire and evidently firefighters have a special. Yeah, okay. I've seen that. It's like a little mask thing for them. So wanted to look into benefits for dogs after I found out a bit about how O2 therapy can help people. Ah. That's super cool. Proper training for the O2 equipment. I got you. I got you. That's cool. Yeah, you have to let me know more about that. Uh, I read that one. With such an unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Helion. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. Indeed, Link is a champion, through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all Hyrule is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Helians alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lonely Helians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. 
And this is not the least of it. You got a stingray for a head. I wish you were cooler, because I like that. It is their fault that Nady Mipha was lost to us. Link. Divine beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one. So you would think not this would be a quite so critical of a problem. Yeah, exactly. You're fish people. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir and really to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear immense, immense danger will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. There, Gillian lives are in very grave danger. Elephant! Hmm, mm, the divine beast is crying out. Oh, I completed a shrine. We woke up an elephant sleeping underwater. Ooh, excuse me, rude. The divine beast, Varuta. I don't know how to say Ruta, is it? Varuta. Your princess Zelda often studied the divine beast. That is, in the time before the great calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. <sighs> Segan. Who's Segan? Segan, who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. <laughs> that is why I went in search of a Helian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, Hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. Uh, okay. What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to bore the Divine Beast and appease it from within. So then, Princess Zelda is still alive. Yep, she's in the castle. Whoa. I forgot about that. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of a hundred years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But if we can regain control of the Divine Beast, they may yet prove useful in a sealing calamity cannon once and for all. Woo! That yawns, man. I did not know you had such a grand ambition, Slink. <laughs> Wonders. Naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. I'm in. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you, Link. Truly. We are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing sort of destiny. Now then. Allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Yeah, I got some armor. Swim speed up, I like that. So as long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like Azora. Please, take good care of it. King Dorofan! Surely you do not intend to give this outside of the Zora armor? Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Link's just in the back and is like, yeah, fuck off. 
Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hillian. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? How do you know she didn't have a relationship ah. with me? This is too much, my liege. I do not understand it mm. one bit. Hmm, that Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand. He was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mipa. He was your educator, shouldn't he have known? Hey, don't lick the couch. Stop. Naturally, she see, means a lot to him. Just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Helians. I hope he can forgive his rudeness. Hmm. What, sh what shall we do now? <laughs> Excuse me. I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows. We will need to appease Maruta. Oh, sorry guys. I don't know why I'm so yawny today. But now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words consume you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. <laughs> His little shibby before taking off. Sidon. I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Sure, because, you know, you're not going anywhere. Oh, look at a little kid, Zora. It's adorable. Creepy. They're fawning over side and hey. Oh, you. Hi. It's me. I'm the one Prince Sidon left at the top of the tower. The name's Groove. In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped to the Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came back here. I forgot the voice I gave him. I was done. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. It is my observation that a true person's true colors shine the brightest when they de dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hillian like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here with no time at all. Oh. Now said, if you don't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors as you dive into the water? You can dive head first from here into the water below. It would be truly beauty made flesh. Please consider. Uh, let's put on some clothes. Inventory. Here you go. Oh my gosh, I'm losing so much armor. No, I'm not. I'm actually gaming armor. Yay! Ka-splash. Oh. oh. Blinding brightness. I remember the voice I gave him, but can't change it now. Radiant beauty. Oh. Huh. Okay, now climb the waterfall and then meet me back up here. All right. I just don't run out of stamina. Mm. Woohoo! That'd be so fun to do. <laughs> Fantastic! Can you feel that? My soul is on fire, pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now then, come over here real quick. As I push you back into the water and steal your tunic. That was amazing! I saw you dive and waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes. Now those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Have them as a present. Stop licking the couch. Yes, I must thank you somehow. Oh, thanks. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It's not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to the next dive. I really will. All right. Go to the square, it said, eh? Sorry, didn't mean to run into you. That was rude. Oh, there you found him. Oh, hey. Oh, it's you. We met at Zora River. It's me, Lido. Thank you for coming so quickly. 
You listen to what King Dwarfan had to say. Yes, so this is the cause of our suffering in Zora's domain. It is all because of that beast, Ruta. Oh. That's why my senior apprentice, Frank, Frank, and I are repairing the domain. However, our materials are a bit depleted. Yeah. Yes, repairs require a large number of luminous stones. I have a few of those. You can find plenty of them around Upland Zorana. Have you, by chance, already stumbled across some luminous stones during your travels? <laughs> For instance, if you have 10 of them, that would be a group big help. I hope I have 10. Watch, I have 9. Oh. oh, if it isn't the helium. Did you need something from me? Here are the stones. No way. Oh. oh, heck yeah, it's probably all of them. Thank you, you've really given me 10 luminous stones. In that case, please excuse me while I count them. Oh. And one. Oh. And a two. Mm. And a three. Oh. Four. Oh. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Would he have stopped counting if I didn't have them all? Oh my, you really brought all ten. Thank you. Yes, I will happily take these luminous stones from you. Oh, that's right. I must reward you. For a diamond, okay. <laughs> and what's more, I'll give you one extra as a bonus. Why couldn't you just give me both of them? All right. You're a lifesaver, truly. Mm. If you ever find yourself in possession of 10 luminous stones in the future, I hope you will bring them to me. But if that happens, know that you'll only be able to give you one diamond for them. <laughs> I would be honored if you would accept it when the time comes. Do I have more? Uh, materials, right? Okay, luminous stone. I have 11. Sure. You want some more? Mm -hmm. Here's some stones. Oh. This is probably a terrible idea, but I, I don't care. That's right. Thank you. Mm. That's why he did them one at a time. Because it was coded. To use code. There's a Goron! Hi! Hi. Hello. Goron. Hey, buddy. Oh, so, that alien who stole me for always thinks you can just come wandering in here like nothing happened. Look at this guy's face. Ugh. What business do you have here after all these years? What is this place? The weapons workshop. What are you doing? Oh. Tried it, maintenance. Tried it. The light scale trident, the ceremonial trident. You've been making a racket since you walked in here. There's no point in coming here if you do not possess light scale trident. Leave. Now. Well, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. I want to talk to this guy. Ooh. Oi! You're a Helion, aren't you? It's rare to see our kind around here. <laughs> As for me, I was roaming nearby in my travels when Prince Sidon recruited me and brought me here. His voice doesn't fit at all. That's cause I can touch shark arrows. I also weigh, well, a lot. There's no way I'll be able to carry you on my back. That's what Prince Sidon said to me. <laughs> I was kind of rude to him, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, can I have some shark arrows? Kind of great. What's up, dudes? You fishy fuck, you're a jerk. You come out this way, but it is in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Hmm. Listen well, Muzu. There's nothing you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Linked, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know in myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories of some which were told about my sister's undying love for a Helian named Link. <laughs> Hurt? No! My teeth! Look at them! These teeth cannot lie! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie! Not this, Zora! How could Lady Mifa possibly feelings for a Helian like him? The facts are clear! He remembers nothing! Even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue! It is true, Muzu. 
though you never knew it, he was ever in Miva's heart. <laughs>